This video demonstrates how to apply the mass on an object and to carry the simulation. This is an object which is having the shape which is defined over here. The base of this object is fixed and at the top it is loaded with the mass of predefined kgs or tons and it is applied with a gravitational pull in the direction of y. Let us proceed with how to build a model for this and create a simulation using the mass. Create a new part file, pick on the file, pick on new, pick on the part design, enter the name of the part as object, cancel the default template, pick on OK, ensure the unit as millimeter, pick on OK. This is the part modeling window with three default datum planes and one default coordinate system. Reorient the datum planes in isometric wave. Pick on tools, environment. Pick on isometric under the standard orientation. Pick on OK. Now the datum planes are reoriented in the isometric view. Pick on the sketch. Select a plane. Pick on sketch. Draw the sketch. In this case, the sketch will be of the shape. Apply the fillets to the corners. Specify the dimensions for the fillets and the lines. This height need to be 150. Similarly, this height need to be 150. The width need to be 100. Angle need to be 120. Similarly, enter the angle for these two lines as 140. Once the model is defined, specify the dimensions for the fillet, say 50. Pick on the constraints, make them equal. This fillet should be equal to this fillet. Specify the height of this line as 40. Now geometry is completely constrained and all the dimensions are applied. Pick on done. Make a swept blend using this trajectory. Pick on insert swept blend. Select this trajectory. By default this trajectory has two ends. Pick on the sections. Select one of the point and pick on sketch. Draw the circle. Enter the diameter of circle as 50. Pick on done. Now pick on insert a section. Pick on this point. Pick on sketch. Draw the circle at this intersection. Enter the diameter of circle as 30. Pick on done. Make it as solid. Pick on done. 
this is the object which is created now it is the time to define a point exactly at the center of this face pick on sketch a point pick on this face pick on sketch take the references pick on close pick on yes pick on the point place the point approximately at the center of the circle which can be done by drawing two construction lines at present the lines are not active so the line point is placed approximately at the center enter the dimensions for that dimension this point is placed at a distance from this point enter the value as 15 pick on done a point is now defined now enter into the pro mechanica applications mechanica make sure that unit system is millimeter for length ton for mass newton for force seconds for time and degree celsius for temperature continue under the mechanica model setup select structural analysis ensure that fvm mode is unchecked and default interface is bonded pick on ok apply the material before that define a new material define a material here pick on steel enter the material pick on ok now assign the material It is taking for the default part that is object. The material is steel. Pick on OK. Once the material is applied, create the density for the mesh. Pick on the controls here. Under the maximum element size, select the part or the components. By default, the object is included enter the maximum element size as 7 pick on ok now create the mesh pick on mesh with all properties of materials mesh need to be created once the mesh is created it will highlight the number of elements present in the object currently there are no beam there are no triads there are no quadrilaterals there are no wedge and brick elements only tetragonal elements are present in this model it will show the information of the mesh the total time taken and maximum aspect ratio and minimum edge angles maximum edge angles and number of edges and faces which are present pick on close save this mesh file save mesh pick on close now define the necessary boundary conditions the boundary condition pick on the constraint apply the constraints for this face all the translations, all the rotations for that face need to be fixed. Now apply the mass on this point. Pick on the mass. Pick on the simple mass and the name of the mass is mass 1. Select the point as this point. Enter the magnitude of mass in tons. Let us say we are applying 
a mass of 20 kgs 20 kgs approximately equals 20 divided by 1000 ton <coughs> that is 0 0.02 tons enter the value as 0 0.02 pick on ok now the mass is applied on this node but we never know whether this mass is acting in the z direction or the y direction or the x direction for that we need to define the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational force for the whole model pick on gravity load here apply the gravity load in the downward direction that is y direction enter the y value as millimeter per second square that is 9810 millimeter per second square pick on ok observe that the coordinate system with respect to which this gravitational force is applied is the world coordinate system WGS pick on ok observe the symbol of gravity acting downwards in the y direction now enter into the design study pick on the design study we want to make the design study pick on the file new static analysis under the static analysis this analysis will be carried out for the constraints which are provided and the load cases which are applied over here the convergence method is single pass adaptive which is faster under the outputs we are looking for the stress rotations and reactions pick on ok observe that the analysis name is analysis 1 now use the green flag to run the simulation there are already existing previous simulation files delete them run the interactive diagnostic <clears throat> the run has now started you can observe in the command line that the design study has started or pick on the output window pick on the output window here it will show the status is running this window will give the information on what is the memory allocations any errors are present or the mechanica model summary along with the units which are selected and what is the type of model two dimensional or three dimensional how many points are present edges are present and faces are present how many elements are present in this model and what is the name of the analysis it will show the calculating the element equations total number of equations highlighted over here at this point of time once the solution is completed you can observe the status in the output window as not running and the run is completed at the required date this is the diagnostic window of the analysis close this window and close the result window now enter into the post processing of the results pick on the post processing of results or review results we are interested in the quantity that is stress that is to warn myself stress display location should be all 
display options we want to see the continuous tone of the stress the deformed shape and we want to see the transparency of the undeformed model and animate the model pick on ok and show this will show the stress that is the von Mises stress in the object this represents the magnitude of von Mises stress now pick on another result window to know the deformation pick on insert a result window for the analysis one pick on open instead of stress select the displacement in the direction of y display options to be continuous tone deformed shape show the transparency of the model animate it ok and show this particular model or the window represents what is the displacement that is happening in the object and this window represents the stress to change the background color pick on format result window change the background color to be white ok pick on this window change format result window to be white pick on ok stop the animation from here or control the speed of animation from here thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel below